So Web 3.0. Now this is the future of internet. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you what Web 3.0 is, and I'm also going to explain to you three potentially strong projects that have a strong potential to grow in this particular space. Now a lot of companies, a lot of businesses are trying to adapt into the Web 3.0 space. Companies like Amazon, Nike have already invested a huge amount of money in this particular space because they understand that Web 3.0 is going to be the future over the next one decade. This entire space is going to grow at a massive rate. The overall search request for Web 3.0 has also been increasing drastically over the last two or three months. So definitely a lot of potential over here. Now Web 3.0, like I mentioned before, is just the future of internet, right? So right now we are living in Web 2.0. Now what this means is, let me give you a very simple example. Right now you are watching this video on YouTube. So YouTube is the one which is actually deciding what kind of videos to show you, what kind of videos should you be watching next. What kind of advertisement to show you on this particular video, right? So YouTube is the one which is deciding all these factors. YouTube is the one which actually decides what kind of home page should you be watching when you open that page as well, because they understand their, your likes, they understand your dislikes. They have huge amount of data to understand these factors. Even the videos which I upload, the multiple policies which I have to regulate and check to ensure that I'm not breaking any of these policies. All these videos are stored on the YouTube server. And they have the flexibility to delete anything whenever they want to. So the entire space right now is regulated and it is centralized by a company named YouTube or Google for that matter. They are the ones who actually decide what regulations to make, what changes to be made. Right? So this entire space is regulated. They have huge amount of data. Sometimes this data tends to be misused. Now, for example, there are multiple allegations on Facebook that Facebook has been selling the data, right? Selling our private data. Also, there are multiple allegations right now happening on Zoom as well. So companies at times tend to misuse this data and that being one of the main drawbacks of this entire central system. And this is what Web 3.0 actually aims to resolve. So what this means is that it is moving to an age where majority of things will be decentralized. And when I'm saying decentralized, it will not be managed by a central authority. So it will be using the blockchain technology. Giving you a very simple example. Right now, I said YouTube, right? An alternative to YouTube is DTube, which is a decentralized platform. So on this particular platform, the videos actually get stored on the blockchain network, which means that no video can ever be deleted. Also, you as a consumer will get rewarded for watching, streaming these videos in form of tokens. Me as a content creator will also get rewarded for uploading videos on this particular website. Again, as tokens, and these tokens will have monetary value to it. Now the intent is very simple. The intent is to actually move to an ecosystem where majority of things will be decentralized so that all the stakeholders, whether the participant, viewers, everyone who's actually in that particular space gets a benefit from it and it's just now the central authority who gets a maximum value out of it. Now each Web 3.0 application will be regulated by DAO. DAO is an autonomous organization which in simple term means the group of people or a community of people who are holding onto that particular project's token. Now they will have the power or they will have the authority to make changes, implement them, regulate new rules based on the votes that they cast. So a lot of changes are actually happening in this particular space right now and quite interesting as well. Right? Even in 2021, if you actually see the number of job requests which actually came up with cryptocurrency went up massively and just LinkedIn, it actually went up by almost 400%. So a lot of changes are expected in this particular space right now. Now coming on to few interesting projects in this particular space right now. The very first one is the graph. The graph is considered to be the Google of the blockchain. Now just how Google actually indexes websites and creates search engine platforms. Similarly, the graph indexes blockchain. The goal of graph is very simple. They want to make web 3.0 available to everyone by creating applications that don't require a server. It is currently trending at $0.4 and has a market cap of $1.9 billion. Now the second company on the list is Helium. Now Helium is considered to be the people's network. Now this company has a goal to actually create a decentralized wireless network which will help devices to connect to internet without the use of the cellular packages or without the use of satellites. So it is actually trying to overtake the telecom space by creating a decentralized wireless network. The company is currently trending or the coin of Helium is currently trending at $22 and has a market cap of $2.5 billion. 
Now the third project on the list is Filecoin. Now Filecoin actually specializes in decentralized storage, which means it actually stores data onto the blockchain. The native token is called FIL, which is a Filecoin, and it is currently trending at $18 and has a market cap of $2.8 billion. Now, should you be investing in this particular space right now? The answer is no. And the main reason is because the entire crypto market is very volatile right now, right? It is just crashing. The main reason for the crash is because feds have actually announced that they will be taking the stimulus money out of the ecosystem. So there's tapering happening right now because of which the entire crypto market is just crashing. Whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, all cryptocurrencies. So definitely it can crash further. So right now would not be a great time to invest in this space because this entire space or this entire ecosystem is at a very early stage right now. It is exactly where the internet used to be in 1998. So definitely a huge potential to grow in the near future. Again, this is not investing advice. This is purely from a knowledge point of view. So you understand what Web 3.0 is and you also understand what are the various potential projects in this particular space right now. So again, not investing advice. And I hope you actually found this particular video useful. And if you did, do hit the like button, do subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.